From the moment we get married till the moment we actually go into the graves, there's something called baraka. Baraka. What is that baraka? Baraka is something Allah puts inside something, something which I can't do, something which you can't do. So let me give you an example. Allah says in the Holy Quran, وَمَا آتَيْتُم مِّن رِّبًا لِّيَرْبُوَ فِي أَمْوَالِ النَّاسِ فَلَا يَرْبُوَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ Allah says all the dealings of usury and interest and riba that you've got, you think that your wealth is increasing to me, فَلَا يَرْبُوَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ This does not increase in the sight of Allah. What does that mean? The man had a hundred thousand pounds. He put it in the bank. The interest rate is three percent. So he's going to get now 3,000 pounds from that 100,000 pounds. He put there 3,000 pounds extra. Now he keeps it in there. The interest rate goes up to let's say 5%. Okay, he's going to get more return on this. Every year he keeps the money in there. There's more and more money accumulating inside in, in his bank account. To him, now after a few years, it's now 125,000 pounds. He just left it there. He just left it in the bank. The interest rate automatically gives him money every single year. So he's thinking, I'm now 25,000 pounds in the plus. Allah says, that 25,000 is no plus. In fact, your 100,000 is also in the minus now because you dealt with riba, you dealt with interest. Allah says, وَمَا آتَيْتُمْ مِنْ زَكَاتٍ the zakat that you give to 2.5% of my wealth. A man has got a hundred thousand pounds. And now he's, he's got a hundred thousand pounds just sitting there. Now at the end of the year, he has to give 2.5% which is two and a half thousand pounds. He has to give the zakat. Next year comes the money still sitting there. He has to give 2.5% of that as well. So he's given almost another two and a half thousand, less than that, but almost another two and a half thousand pounds out. Every year he has to give that zakat money out. By, by another four or five years, he's given like 10,000 pounds away. Now his capital is 90,000 pounds there. So this man is seeing that I have got 10,000 pounds less. Allah says in the Holy Quran, وَمَا آتَيْتُ مِنْ زَكَاةٍ تُرِيدُونَ وَجْهُ اللَّهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُضْعِفُونَ Allah says, not only am I going to increase your capital because you gave zakah, I'm going to increase you. I'm going to put barakah in you, فَأُولَٰئِكْ All of you. The man gave zakat, Allah says, barakah in your wife, barakah in you, barakah in your children, barakah in your household, barakah in all of you. I'm going to put barakah in there. Now how does it work? How it works is very strange. Me and you can't calculate that. The man who, who dealt with riba, with usury, with interest, he's got 125,000 pounds sitting in there. But Allah says, فَلَا يَرْبُوا إِنَّ اللَّهِ There's no barakah there. This is nothing going to increase there. You know what happens? What happens is one way or another, that money doesn't seem to be enough. So let me give you an example. Sometimes Allah gives you some money and honestly, if Allah puts barakah inside it, you can see how well that money lasts you. So example, Allah gives you a simple salary. There are certain members here in this community, Allah has given you barakah in your household. You have at the end of the month, you have like 1,500 pounds coming into your house. If you did a proper calculation, you need like 2,000 pounds to run this house. You don't even know how Allah just makes all the bills get paid. You don't know how Allah makes things last because you know the milk that you bring inside the house. That milk, subhanallah, for a person who has got barakah in his house, the milk lasts two days longer than a person who has got no barakah in the house. Your shoes that you're wearing, Allah will make it last. You wear it for five years, ten years, your shoes are lasting. Whereas a person who doesn't have barakah, one year, two years, shoes are gone. Your, your, your machine that you've got, the, the, the different machines you've got inside the house, the, the actual car you've got, Allah puts barakah inside, it's going to last longer. You don't even know how. Your household repairs only happens now and again. Whereas the person who's got no barakah, there are a lot of repairs that need to be there, done there. Your own family members are happy with the little that they have, alhamdulillah, that is barakah. The man who has no barakah in his house, they want to go on holiday here, they want holiday there, they want a wedding comes. For example, wedding comes. If you really follow the system of barakah, you're going to make a wedding very simple. You're going to make a wedding. And I'm telling this from the hadith of the Prophet The Prophet said, the walima that you do, that has got the most a'zamuha barakatan, the most barakah, the most blessings from Allah in it is aysaruha mu'natan, is the one that you spend the least amount of money and you get the walima done.